Hey guys, Greg Benz here with a quick demonstration of a cool little trick you can pull with Lomenzio version 8. When you click on the Edge button in version 8, you'll get these new options on the left-hand side here. And the primary reason that I included these in the panel is to allow you to get better sharpening where you only apply sharpening into edge detail and not into noise in the surfaces, or to go and actually help remove halos you might create during exposure blending or dodging and burning your image. However, I also recognize that the mask itself may be artistically interesting to some users, so I created this new layer option. If you're working with any other preview in Lomenzia, once you create that orange preview layer, you can command click on mask to turn it into a layer for artistic purposes. With the new edge control, you're not getting a preview, you're just going straight to an output. So it has its own layer button. If you just simply click on it, you'll be presented with an option to Gaussian blur if you want, click OK at the defaults, and you get this line output created from your image as its own standalone layer. So it can be a very cool way to render geometric shapes into interesting black and white art. You can also customize it a bit. Notice, for example, that some of the lines seem to be missing here. That's just due to limited shadow detail, which makes the image difficult to interpret. So instead, what we can do is duplicate the base layer. And this time, let's go and use the camera raw filter. So go to filter, camera raw filter, and let's bring out a little more detail by bringing up the shadows, the blacks, and we'll bring up some dehaze as well to the midpoint to just create a little more edge definition. Clicking OK, it's not a very pretty result as far as I'm concerned, but for the sake of creating this output, we can get a different result. When we click on layer this time, we'll see that the edges are much more defined. Clicking OK, and let's just compare the two results. We have the version where we use camera raw to adjust the input versus the original. So you can see it's a very flexible tool. If you just change the input a little bit, you can get some very interesting results. Let's take a look at another couple of quick examples. In this next one here, I have, again, a bunch of geometric shapes. It's a little bit more complicated. And what I'm going to do this time is notice that in the help tip for Edge, if you hold down the Command key, you'll immediately get the option we want. So I'm just going to hold down Command or Control, click on Edge, and we'll get straight to that final result. Again, we could have modified this input to change the output, but you can see how interesting this can be. You can also create this in a luminosity blend mode if you want to allow some of the original color to show through. And to do that, you can just hold on the Alt key. So if I hit Command Alt Edge, it'll go straight to this colored result. Lastly, we'll take a look at one more example here, really pushing the boundaries of a complicated image. It has stark geometric lines, but not a lot of texture. And that's what tends to allow something like this to still work for this technique. Command click on Edge, and you see the black and white result that we get from it. And of course, you're free to modify these layers and play with them any way you want with levels, painting on them. There's a myriad of ways you can take these and turn it into some very interesting art. That's it, guys. Please be sure to like and subscribe and let me know if you want to see more quick little demos like this.